Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to the latest style review from the Balefire Boutique. I am your hostess, Heather Rupert, and today we are going to be giving you a quick five minute video on fit, feel, fabrics, styling tips, and my personal overall rating of the latest and greatest from LuLaRoe, the Piper Balloon Sleeve Sweater. It is $54. It comes in two different fabrics. It comes in a Chanel. It also comes in a faux mohair. If you're unfamiliar with what mohair is, mohair is Angora goat fur. Now you hear that and you think, oh god, it's gonna be itchy. I would describe this particular faux hair as more of a brushed sweater feel. If you're familiar with the leggings from LuLaRoe versus the leggings that you buy from Target, LuLaRoe is a little bit more on the bunny fluff side. So we've come to know and love, everything is soft and stretchy. That's what this sweater is gonna give you. With that being said, the fabrics themselves are gonna take a little extra TLC. They're both synthetic fibers. So normally you would wash cold, hang dry. With these particular sweaters, you are going to wash cold with like colors and like garments such as LuLaRoe. And then you're gonna lay it flat to dry and reshape it as needed. It holds its shape pretty well, I must say, and Frankly, for all the sweaters that LuLaRoe has made over the years, I'm super fond of this one because it's thicker than your typical sweater from LuLaRoe. And for someone who lives in layers year round, I am here for it. So let's talk about how this actually fits. I'm five foot two. On a good day, I weigh 145 pounds. <laughs> Ooh, falling off balance here. And I'm a pear shape borderline hourglass shape. This currently that I'm wearing, this size right here is a small. I am like an 810, so I'm like right in between sizes on the sizing chart. So size small would be a size 6 8, and I gotta tell you, the room right through here is amazing. Like I'm not afraid of like destroying any seams whatsoever. You have this ribbed extended cuff, and it's like crazy stretchy which is amazing and that same cuff goes around the neckline and at the base so you have a lot of wiggle room in this no pun intended i have currently styled this with a valentina top i love this little pop of color i'm getting some serious like alice in wonderland you know adventures at hogwarts kind of thing two different genres i'm aware but totally feeling this style so one thing i love about this is the way you can style these different sleeves. Now you can see what the neckline looks like from Randy to the actual Piper. Randy was more of a, you know, the baseball tee, so it comes up pretty close to your neckline. So if you lean over, you're not showing the world your goods, which I'm a fan of. <laughs> but with the rib cuff itself, I do dishes a lot because I bake a lot. So I'll be in the kitchen for like 20 minutes needing to do things. You can roll the cuff all the way up onto your bicep. And I played sports. Baseball tee, I got biceps. Come on. <laughs> you can roll this all the way up. It stays in place. And now you have this cute little three quarter sleeve moment. And I mean, I'll be in the kitchen for like 20 minutes doing this and then won't think anything of it. Now, this is a size medium, and this is the Chanel fabric. The Chanel, you're only gonna find in solids. By the nature of the beast, the faux mohair is the only fabric you're gonna find in prints with this particular Piper garment. And the reason for that being is the Chanel is more of a soft, silky, smooth, velvety moment. It's a lot easier to do prints with something that has a little bit more oomph substance, if you will, whereas this is just like cozy, soft and fluffy. Everybody's going to want to snuggle you. You feel me? <laughs> so takeaways from this, as you size up, this neckline also comes out. But the nice thing about that is that if you are having to put it on over hair and makeup, you're not going to smudge your face in the hours it took to do all the things. Maybe not hours, but in my case it would because I don't wear makeup very often, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, another thing with that, if you're doing the Valentina and wanted to tuck in your shirt, or if you're wearing a shirt that has more of a high-low hemline, if this part right here, if you size up a little too much in this sweater, 
then you're at the risk of fallout where the bottom of your shirt is just gonna go bleh, and you know it's you will see the layers so that's what I'm talking about it's a little bit larger everything kind of just kind of falls out the bottom just because it's not really holding on you see how that works here's another thing you raise your arms if you have a shirt that's not tucked into whatever your bottom is gonna come up with you unless it really hugs your body and that is the top of my pants right there this is a crop top style sweater typically with LuLaRoe we expect a little bit more length because we can wear almost anything they make with leggings this is not one of those sweaters it's not <laughs> so if you're loving this look and oh I just I gotta have that print it's so amazing if you walk out there wearing your Piper sweater and your leggings you're gonna be showing the world your downstairs mix up just saying you're gonna want to wear this with jeans or it looks wicked cute with a pencil skirt so what have we talked about talked about the fit sizing chart wise uh, I feel like my bottom size would probably be an extra small. I don't think I could go smaller than that, even though from the sizing chart, I'm going to be somewhere between a medium and a small. And that's okay. I've worn small through large at this point, and the sleeves only are just poofing. Like, you can really tell. Like, the more you size up, the more that actually, like, accentuates on you. But it doesn't bother me. You're super feminine. Oh, my God. Uh, so, we're talking about fit, feel fabrics the chanel versus the faux mohair faux mohair is the only way you're gonna get jacquard style print prints what's jacquard it is a woven print so all these lines in this plaid are gonna stay crisp and clean for the to the end of time styling ideas put a collared shirt underneath it super cute you can wear it with your favorite pencil skirt to give you that kind of elongated look uh, I personally just love it with jeans because you have super easy access to your pockets. Hair instructions, you're going to want to wash cold and lay flat to dry. You're not going to want to hang dry this because the gravity and the weight of it being wet will stretch this out and then you'll be sad. So my overall rating for this sweater, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Only because <laughs> I would have liked a little more length not necessarily to wear it with leggings but the this this bit right here how the top of my pants is right there I honestly would have liked another like half inch just another half inch of length in the overall bodice of it but it's soft I can roll the sleeves up and do dishes for 20 minutes and not have to worry about them falling down it, it stretches out far enough that if I did my hair and makeup it's not gonna mess anything up it's warmer than the typical sweater that Lulero usually makes, so I'm here for it. Uh, runs $54. They're available now on my website and with retailers all across the country. If you love what I've been wearing and you want to see more of it, or if you just want to come cheer me on, you can visit us online at thebalefireboutique.com and see all the places we're hiding. Mwah! Love you madly. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time at the Balefire Boutique.